Oh, hello and welcome to the next dismantling of the server that we're going to be using. Uh, this one is a Dell PowerEdge 850. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention in the last video was how big they are. So this one here is what they call a 1U. So it effectively takes up one space in a server rack. And the other one that we looked at last time, which is this one here, that is a 5U. So you can kind of see the difference there. And anything bigger than 1U is generally longer. So you can see that one's quite short compared to uh, that one there, which is quite long. So let's just take the front bezel off. You see the front connectors there. Nothing really too special. There isn't anything that you that is hot swappable at the front like the first one. And then uh, we can undo it at the back by the screw here. So we can see that uh, this one uses a SATA inf interface instead of a SCSI. Um, we have two gigabytes there of DDR2 RAM. I think it's running at 13.33, but I can't entirely remember. Um, it's got a Pentium 4 processor under that heatsink. There's only one of them in here. You can't fit two. And they're the two blow fans that go through the processor and are directed past the RAM as well. Um, the power supply also isn't hot swappable. There's only one of them. Um, we, you can have two hard drives. I haven't got another one in there at the moment. But uh, this one is a terabyte drive. And also over here we have an expansion card which I bought. Uh, this one, I can take it out. This one is a special card called a DRAC card. And DRAC stands for Dell Remote Access. It allows you to connect to the server while it's powered off. As long as there's electricity going through it, you can connect through an IP address and access it. You can then turn it on, restart it, uh, load on an operating system remotely and it will install it onto the hard drive. Some of these chips are memory so you can transfer data across, load it into the card and then install applications. You can see there it's got a uh, RJ45 port and a um, VGA which takes over the main integrated graphics on the motherboard. And the ports at the back are generally the same as all the other servers. You get two USB, a keyboard, a mouse, a uh, serial, a um, VGA and two Ethernet ports, one and two. They're all uh, gigabit ports, so that's good. Uh, there's not much else to say about this one. I think the power supply was something like 350 watts, compared to the one over there, which is uh, 960. So that's about it for that one. This one's more powerful than the, uh, than the 5U over there that we looked at. Um, I could suppose I could turn it on. I won't bother putting the top back on. But as long as I can get this thing back in. There we go. And that there is a little bit kind of a cool way to secure the PCI cards in. This one isn't very loud. Quite quiet, really. There's the 
ทางแบบนั่นสิ You can notice how short it is compared to the other one if I hold the camera like that. So there we go. Um, there's one last server that I'm going to take apart for you guys. And then we can get on to some installation videos. So I'll see you next in the uh, next video.